In just a few days, Tennessee's special legislative session will gavel in. Republican Governor Bill Lee officially signed the proclamation, a decision made following the deadly shooting at the Covenant School in Nashville, where six people died, including three children. I'm under pressure to provide an environment for Tennesseans that's safe. The governor vowed to call lawmakers back when they didn't debate his proposal, allowing the courts to remove firearms from those considered a danger to themselves or others. Republican Senator Brent Taylor of Memphis believes the measure still won't happen. I believe it's doomed. Uh, that, there's very little support um, for the governor's red flag bill. On top of that, Governor Lee worded his proclamation with specific topics lawmakers can discuss during the special session, ranging from mental health, school safety plans, and blended sentencing for juveniles, meaning young offenders would get both juvenile and adult sentences. See, unlike the regular session, in a special session, a governor sets the agenda, and lawmakers have to stick to it. Anything else has to wait until January, meaning tougher gun reform like bans on bump stocks and assault-style weapons won't make the cut. Representative John Gillespie, a Republican from Memphis, says he submitted several bills, like enhancing sentences for certain crimes committed with guns and preventing someone indicted for a dangerous felony from purchasing more firearms. I was frustrated um, and a little surprised. They were all denied, except for one bill providing incentives to help recruit more mental health professionals. He's hopeful that one will pass. Right now, one of the big issues facing the city of Memphis, but also the state, is lack of mental health professionals and access to them. So right now in Memphis, there's a eight to 12 month wait to get in and see a child psychiatrist. You have to be very, very creative. Democratic Representative Antonio Parkinson of Memphis says he also filed a series of bills, one of which connects an adult gang member who gets a juvenile to steal a gun to the crime the juvenile commits using that weapon. He says they passed the first hurdle of meeting the scope of the session, but haven't been put on the calendar yet. Everything we do matters, no matter how small or how large it is, it matters. Um, is it enough? Absolutely not. Is it hidden to the core of the issue? Absolutely not. Other Democrats agree. Senator London Lamar, a Democrat from Memphis, called Governor Lee's proclamation restrictive, adding it's an insult to every Tennessean who had hoped for a genuine bipartisan effort to end the pervasive threat of gun violence. They're just upset because their ideas didn't get put in because we don't believe that they would fix anything. Speaker of the House Cameron Sexton talked to our sister station in Nashville, a strong stance that other GOP lawmakers have. They say the conversation must be about mental health, pointing to incidents like when police say a man tried entering a Memphis Jewish school last month and fired shots outside. His family friends say he was struggling with mental illness. Rather than simply remove their guns and, and allow them to remain in society, uh, to have other weapons to, to commit crimes, is to let's figure out how to get that person uh, into a mental health facility and get them the mental health professionals and the mental health treatment that they need. And as you just heard, a lot of opinions there. It's expected to get heated this week. There's no telling how long this special session will last either. Some say that they will work through the weekend. Of course, we'll keep you updated on those bills we mentioned, as well as any other developments. Jessica Gertler, WREG News Channel 3.